my lovely colouring friends, my name's Amanda and this is my channel Amanda Colours. I have Emerald here to say hello. She has been wanting to say hi to you all for such a long time. Um, she has been on the same big adventure of moving house that I have been on and she's got to meet some new friends who had been packed away for a long time and she has been missing you guys though. So hello from Emerald. And uh, she's going to sit over here at the side. Um, and I am here. Oh, I wanted to share a fact with you. It's not necessarily a fun fact, but it's what I could remember as far as facts go this morning. Um, did you know that one in five people uh, live with chronic pain? That's really sad, isn't it? I am one of those people. Uh, but yeah, I, um, I just learned that fact recently. So... Yeah, not so good. Anyway, uh, let me just kind of get things a bit situated here. Okay, so today I am here to share with you a whole bunch of my completed pages since June, I think it will be. Um, they're in book size order, so just kind of however they come out. They're not in numerical order or chronological order. But before I do that, I want to show you some diamond paintings that I completed before I moved. So, I did start off the year uh, with doing these birthstone little uh, diamond paintings. And I was doing each month as we went, but I have a few to catch up on because I you got out of practice of doing them. So, this is for June and it is pearl. Uh, and the kit this is from is from Paint Gem and I will have links to all the books and to the diamond paintings if I can find them um, down in the description. So yeah, it's very, very cute. I love these small designs and I think it turned out pretty well. Then I have this one here. Hmm, let's see if I can zoom out enough to show it, the whole thing to you. Why are we not zooming? Okay, it's not gonna zoom out enough. So I will have to try and do it like this. <coughs> <clears throat> I'm still working out my new setup, so yeah. So this I bought from Temu, um, and they have great diamond paintings, really, really affordable, um, and I've started enjoying doing big ones. So this one may end up being framed and put in my studio here, and I will do a full um, studio tour once my room is set up properly, and um, yeah, it's still not still not right it's still not done i still have boxes and things everywhere so once it's all nice and tidy i will show you that uh, but yeah it may end up framed on my wall i just really love the colors i love cactuses and succulents i have a whole bunch of them um but yeah that's that one and then i also did this one which May also end up on the wall. I won't be able, I don't have room for both of them, but whichever one, oops, I kind of decide. But yeah, this is sort of like poppy flowers or just flowers, abstract flowers. Uh, again, I just really liked the colors um, and it is also from Temu. And there's one here that's not sitting right. So yeah, they're a lot of fun. I really enjoy doing them and I will probably get back into them very soon. So they are the diamond paintings that I completed. Now let's get into the books. So I'm going to zoom in and we can start with Enchanted Faces by Hannah Lynn. Now uh, my friend Megan from Meg's Colouring Corner and I have been um, colouring in this together. We do three pages a month um, and I think Meg worked out the other day that we'll be, we will be finished in February next year. So that's exciting. Uh, one month Meg chooses two images and I choose one and then the next month we swap it around. So there are a few here. So first up we have this one. Um, pretty much I've used my Copic and Ohuhu markers in here with the dual metallic Pentel markers, uh, pen sorry, for the um, for the borders and other details and my white Sino Signo gel pen. Um, so this is my page and then this is Meg's page. 
I love how different our pages always turn out, even though we're coloring the same page. So next up, we have this one. I really enjoyed coloring this one and making the sky like a sunset with the moon coming out. Again, all the same sort of markers and pens. I tend to use the same thing in this book. And this is Meg's page. Another beautiful job. Next up, we have uh, this one with the beautiful little walrus, walrus friend. That's a bit hard to say. Um, I have used some metallic bits. Let's see if we can catch the light. There we go. Very cute. And here's Meg's. Then we have this one. I really like how this one turned out. I actually used a, um, a color palette that I saw on one of Lavelle's, um pictures in this book. It wasn't this picture, I don't think but the soft pink and the blue gradient. And I just thought it was really pretty. And I used one of my um, gold chrome markers that I got from Temu. It's not like a brand. You just have to search for gold chrome. They also have silver, which I use quite a bit. And um, actually I've used it for the stars. Um, and also like a bronzy coppery color as well. And they're really, really shiny. They don't last very long. They are very cheap but they're very shiny and I love them. Uh, and this is the next page. Then we have this one and I decided to do something a bit different and give her green hair. I was really liking the green and sort of peachy color tones together. So I've probably done some metallic bits yep, on that one as well. Oh, and I always use my Sakura Glaze clear glaze pens on the eyes and the lips to make them shiny, which is a lot of fun. And here's Meg's page. This is a bit like a show and tell of Meg's, <laughs> Meg's completed pages too, but that's okay. Uh, and then we have this one. I'm not really sure what happened here on her cheek. And it maybe it looks brown, not orange from there. But anyway, something happened and I tried to fix it, but it wasn't really coming up. But yeah, I did a purple and turquoise or teal page here with bits of metallic. There we go. And here's Meg's page. Then we have this one. Some deeper pinks and blues, which was fun. Again, we've got metallic and um, glazed bits. I actually put some metallic bits in her eyes. Not sure if you can see that there under the glaze, but yeah, very cute. And Megan did hers like this. Then we have this one, and this one I actually did with the palette from uh, September, I think it was a September, yeah, September color palette, palette challenge. So all oranges, yellows, and browns, and I've used the metallic, and sorry, the chrome gold pen on this one as well. And here's Megan's. And just one more which is this one. And I just used some fun pastel colors. And again, bits of metallic, bits of glaze and the chrome pen. And here is Megan's. So yes, lots of fun, lots done in that book, but still more to do. Then we have Disney portraits. I might zoom out just a bit. So I would have thought I would have finished this book by now, but yeah, with moving and everything, it hasn't happened. There are a bunch that I have done, but there are still a few to do, which I might try and do this month actually and get it finished. So I use this book for um, the, in the Facebook group that Megan and I co-host, it's called Color With Us. 
and it is uh, the link for it is down in the description. We do a whole bunch of fun coloring prompts and things like that. And we one of the ones we do is a Disney scavenger hunt every week. So we do a Disney character and you can scavenger hunt through all your Disney books and find that character and color a page of that character and then share it in the group. So I have used this book for a lot of those characters. And once this book is finished, I will start on another one, um, a different Disney book to do that. But here we have Anna. Um, and she, I use my um, Doe and Ink Tense pencils in this book and then metallic pens and things. So that's what I've done here. There's quite a lot of metallic I've done in her hair and all around in the wreath there. And then we have Anna. Nope. Elsa, um, and I've used some Stickles um, glitter glue for the snowflakes, and it looks like my clear stardust pen on top of her dress to give like the shimmery overlay there. So there's that one. Then we have the Pumba. Again, the Doe and Intense pencils and just some metallic bits in the various uh, design elements there. And we have Flash, is it Flash or Dash or Dash, I think his name is. Um, again, all the same things, but I've actually used the black glaze pen on the black areas that would be like leather or pleather or whatever to give them some dimension. Then we have Anger, and I've used metallic pens in the background here. And we have Mater, and again, we have bits of metallic in various spots with the Do and Ink Tense pencils. I was quite happy with how like the rust and and dirt and stuff came up with the pencils. Then we have Disgust. She also has metallic touches on her eyelashes and various places in the background and what have you on her dress. Then we have Toulouse, I think this one is. Again, I used a bit of Stickles Glitter Glue on his bow tie and the chrome markers on the metallic bits of the paintbrush as paintbrushes. And then we also have Dante. I used um, what is called Tombow markers uh, for the background on this one because they are water-based and don't bleed through to the other side. And then I used some really old Pentel, um, like pastel, creamy pastel pens that I had to go over the details in the background there. And we have Miko. Same, pretty much all the same. Um, man, I'm not thinking well today, am I? All the same materials on this one. And we have, he's not sadness, what is he? Fear. <laughs> Fear. Haven't seen the second one yet. I want to see that. Oh, and that looks like it is it for now. Yes. So there are still a few to go in there, but yeah, I'll get to them. Then we have Ivy and the Inky Butterfly, and I need to zoom out more. So this book has been a project book that Megan and I started together, but a whole bunch of people have come on board and have been colouring with us. I actually have just realised that I didn't colour my pages for last month, I don't think. So I'm going to have to do four pages this month because we do a double page spread each month. But anyway, actually one month we decided to, one spread we decided to do over two months. Was it this one? Yeah, it was. It was this one. 
because it's so detailed. So basically, I use almost everything that I have in these books. Well, that's not really true. I use a whole bunch of different pencils, and then I've used my metallic markers, my Stardust markers, my white gel pen, the chrome metallic pens. I used a glaze, a blue glaze pen down here. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. But I am using the same colors throughout the whole book. So, um, so that it looks like a storybook. So I kind of have a little container that I keep all these pencils in. And then the next month was this one, which was much easier. Uh, lots of metallics and chrome and all that kind of thing. Uh, and a bit of a soft background. And then I was supposed to do this one last month. So I'm going to have to catch up on that. I think it was last month. Yeah. And then I have to do this one as well. So I need to catch up. But we're still not even halfway. We've got so much. This book is so big and so detailed. It's going to take forever. But anyway, we'll get there. It'll be good when it's done. Then we have Doggy Doodles, which is a book that I do a colour along with every month where... Um, you guys vote for a page here on my community tab each month for which page you would like to do. And then we all color it. And that is for my AC Doggy Doodles hashtag. And then this is actually, no, this is last month's because I've been catching up. I was looking at the date at the bottom, but that's not when it was for. That's when I did it. So this is Ohuhu Markers. My white Sino gel pen and the gold and silver um, chrome pens. I'm going to have to move this. Sorry, as I said, I'm still trying to work out my setup here. Okay, that's a bit better. I'm still hitting the wall. I need to adjust where this is. But anyway, I won't do that now. So there's that one. And then we also did the poodles. And I decided to do pastel poodles having a party. <laughs> Um, and I've used my, um, some, uh, glittery metallic. My goodness, I am so sorry. My brain is not working. Gel pens for that. Then we had this one and this one I actually used some metallic watercolors for the honeycomb to make it shiny. And I used clear glaze over the honey to make it look like honey. And then there is also this one. So this is Ohuhu Markers. Again, the silver pen. Um, yeah, I think that's it. And white gel pen. So that is a Doggy Doodles. Then I actually did a fun body colour with Koo's Life in Colour on Instagram. Uh, and she and I both have uh, Emmanuel Colin colorage wild books and um we haven't found very many other people that have them and we don't see them around all that often so we decided to do a buddy color together and we did this page this is the second colorage wild book um and yeah i used my ohuhu markers for this and some white gel pen and that is all i used and i'm really happy with how it came out i think the colors are really pretty and yeah i'm happy with it and this is um, my buddy's Koo's Life in Colour. This is her page here. So she did a gorgeous job as well. Then we have my Sea of Colours hashtag. So that's ACC of Colours. And like Doggy Doodles, each month I give some pages for you guys to vote on. And then um, whichever one is most popular is the page that we colour for that month. So again, we've got a few months to look at. And in this book, I use, I try to use a lot of um, water-based mediums, even though the paper isn't that great, um, because it's underwater images. So I've used my Derwent Intense pencils and various metallic gel pens for this one. So I use the pencils in the background and then metallics on the fish and creatures to kind of make them stand out a bit more. 
So this is the whale page. And again, I have used the uh, Derwent Ink Tense pencils and some metallic gel pens. Then we have this one here. And I did a rainbow gradient of colors around the edge with the Derwent Ink Tense pencils, a little bit of a fade inside the frame there and some metallic pens there as well. So that is a Sea of Colours. And then we have Cozy Friends. Now this was a buddy colour with my beautiful friend B from B Cozy Colouring. And um, yeah, this is such a super cute book. But this is the page we coloured and we coloured it for Christmas in July. Um, but I didn't get to it until August. But <coughs> Excuse me, but I wanted to do non-traditional sort of more pastel Christmas colors. So I've used pastel pinks, pastel greens, and um, like a turquoisey aqua color with Ohuhu markers, and again the chrome gold marker. So that's my page, and this is B's beautiful page. So so cute. She's done a great job. So. Next, we have um, another buddy color that I did, and that is in my coloring book. So if you are unaware, I actually created this coloring book, um, and you can purchase it through Amazon. There is a link in my bio for that, uh, sorry, in the description, um, and it is available through Amazon worldwide, um, and it is the Lovely Things coloring book created by me, um, and my lovely friend Shell and I did this page here and we just did that this month. So you're getting a bit of an early preview, uh, but yeah, super cute doggy page. Again, I've used, I think, a combination of Ohuhu and Copic markers and um, yeah, the gold chrome marker there as well. So that's my page and this is Shell's adorable page. She did a great job too. So thanks for budding with me, Shell. And then we have another buddy color. Um, I've just been doing about one a month. Um, for the last few months, it's been nice to kind of reconnect with people a little bit. Uh, and this was with Poles Coloring on Instagram. And it is in the newest Matchstick Mouse book, um, a rainy day coloring book. And I just saw today that Morgan is bringing out another Matchstick Mouse book, which is for Christmas. And it's kind of like a countdown to Christmas. That is going to be so much fun. So um, we did this page with Matchstick Mouse and all the lady beetles or the ladybirds or whatever you want to call them. Uh, so yeah, super, super cute. Again, I use my Ohuhu markers for this one and my white gel pen, and that looks like it. I haven't used any metallic or anything on this page. So that is my page, and this is Paul's coloring page. She did a gorgeous job. And thanks for buddying with me. Then we have Annie Day, and uh, this book is another... Um, Another hashtag color along book that I do each month and I just choose a page out of here. Um, Annie is my favorite coloring book character um, and I'm so excited that there are two new Annie Day books that I have received but I haven't colored in yet. Um, and yeah, we all color a page in here. So there's a few months pages in here. So there is this one where Annie is baking with her cute little hedgehog friend. She's got flour all over her, but I thought this was cute in pastel colors. Um, and these are all Ohuhu markers and white gel pen. Then we have this one where Annie is berry picking. And every time I say berry picking, it reminds me of The Sound of Music where they go um, blueberry picking for supposedly blueberry picking when they go and visit Maria at the convent. Um, I wanted to give her skirt a bit of a gradient of purple. I used the, I 
think I used our hoo-hoo markers for this one too. So yeah, there's that one. And then there's Annie on the beach. And I think it's really interesting. Um, some people saw her outfit with a belt and some people saw that it was like a two-piece. So I think it's really interesting seeing how different people um, view the different, uh, the same illustration differently. I think that's really cool. So I gave her a metallic belt, but um, yeah, she's just taking a stroll with her gorgeous little scruffy friend on the beach there. And that is it for the colored Annie pages. Then we have Frogs and Friends, volume two. So this is a color along that I co-host with Megan from Disney Makes Coloring. Uh, and uh, the book is available either as a PDF book, which this one is, um, that I then had printed and spiral bound, or you can purchase a Frogs and Friends book that has images from both volume one and volume two that's already printed through Amazon. So, um, yeah, I have colored the cover because I had it printed in black and white. So I thought that was a bit of fun. And then again, Megan and I choose pages that we all color during the month. So there's this one here. And I use some stickles on the spots on the frog there. And so a little bit on the water. But they are my Ohuhu markers. Then we have Mr. Robot which was so much fun. I really enjoyed this one. And I added my chrome gold marker on this one for different metallic bits. Then we have the butterfly frog and the toad tadpole. Um, I pictured this a bit different in my head. I pictured, I think I should have probably used a darker blue to contrast better does actually look darker in real, um, sorry, on the screen than it does in real life, but it turned out okay. And I've used some white gloss, uh, clear gloss on, there we go, where, there, no, I had it a second ago. There, okay, <laughs> on the spots on his skin and bits on his eyes and same with the tadpole, but I enjoyed doing the rainbow gradient on the wings, that was fun. And then the last one is this one here. And this is a little bit of a different style and it felt quite um, like traditional Japanese in style to me, especially with the koi fish kite. But I actually used um, a the uh, July color palette from the AC palette challenge for this one. And I've just realized I haven't gone back and done the highlights on his eyes with gloss. So I'll have to go back and do that. But yeah, they're all the pages that I have done in Frogs and Friends. Then in the uh, the Facebook group that Megan and I co-host, again, it's called Colour With Us. Um, we are doing a full book colour along through Magic Jars by Colour, <coughs> excuse me, Colouring Book Cafe. Uh, and yeah, we choose a page out of here each month and everyone who wants to that's in the group um, colors along. So we've got this one here, which I colored with Ohuhu markers and my white gel pen. Then we have this one. Again, Ohuhu markers and white gel pen. Then there's the mice with the cheese. Same mediums. And we have the little cottages, which are super cute. So yeah, this is a fun book to be colouring through. Then we have Winnie the Bear. And I have been colouring this, um, started as a buddy colour with my beautiful bear friend B from Bee Cozy Colouring. Um, but we've kind of both been really busy and not been able to keep up with it, which is totally fine. Uh, but I will show you the page that I haven't shown you. And that's this Eeyore page. And I colored this with a new technique of coloring water. And I'm really happy with how it came out. So basically the idea is you do the whole area with a light 
colour. Then you choose a medium colour and you do lots of little splodges, just like organic shapes that kind of, you know, weave in and out around each other. And then you do um, your shadows, like around the rocks and things, with a darker colour. And I've also done it under some water lines that were already in the illustration. And then I went over everything with line art with a white mark, a white pen. Um, it doesn't follow the same shapes as the medium blue underneath. It's actually separate on top. And that's how you get like the effect of the light and the shadow catching the water. And I also covered the lines that were in the illustration around the water as well. And I'm really, really happy with how it came together. Um, so I used Ohuhu markers, white gel pen, um, metallic gel pen, and then uh, dragonfly glaze for the dragonfly wings, giving it that beautiful iridescent shimmer. So that's my page, and this is Bee's page. She did a gorgeous job too. They turned out very, very different, but I think they both look great. Just two more books. Then we have 50 Mythical Miniatures, and this um, I coloured on screen as part of my Mythical Minis series, which I am hoping to continue with. Um, and that was in, what, maybe June? Yeah, June for the Unicorn for Junicorn. So, yeah, I've used, it looks like my Ohuhu markers, and I have used some uh, chrome silver marker and some stickles on the unicorn horn and i'll link to that video up in the i cards um, if you're interested in finding out about unicorns and the lore and history of them and then we have one last book and that is adorable girls by Rada prince and everything's got dust on it sorry about that um and <coughs> And I have been doing a, a hashtag that uh, Noma Colouring does each month where she suggests a hair colour and an eye colour and different combinations. And this one was um, pink and green hair. So I did this page here and that was way back in June. Um, and that is, I think that is with Ohuhu markers as well. I've been using my Ohuhu markers a lot um, because they're in a smaller case and they're a bit easier to carry around. I've also used my gold glitter pen for the details on her clothing and her jewellery. So my beautiful friends, that is it. They are all the pages that I have coloured. Considering it's been like four months or something, it's not really all that many because um, there was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of time where I was not colouring anything. Um, so yeah. But don't forget, if you want a copy of Lovely Things, you can get that through the link in my uh, bio. And also, if you missed it, I have launched a colouring planner. Yes, the 2025 colouring planner, which is designed specifically for recording all your colouring bits and pieces. It isn't just a normal planner with some colouring pages. It is actually for colouring. Um, and we have exclusive colouring pages from uh, Morgan O'Brien, Lala Gonzalez and Jen Racine. And we also have other colouring pages by Gabby Wolf, uh, RJ Hampson and Rita Prince. So make sure you check this out in the, um, I'll link to the video all about that, all about this up in the iCards. And make sure you check it out over on Amazon. Again, it's available worldwide. So these two books, make sure you check them out. And your support is greatly, greatly appreciated. Thanks, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.